Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a bike and also the basket of flowers and the little cat. The larger bike using 8 ply wool is 18 centimetres by 13 centimetres or 7 inches by 5 inches. This smaller bike using 4 ply crochet cotton is 13 centimetres by 8 centimetres or 5 inches by 3 inches. I'll be using 8 ply wool today to make the larger bike so it will be easier for you to see. I'll be using 8 ply wool today which is light worsted in the US and double knit in the UK. I've got red for my main colour and grey, black and white for the other colours on the bike. I've got green for the leaves and I've got yellow for some flowers. I've got a 2.5mm crochet hook, scissors, a darning needle to weave in my ends, sewing thread and a sewing needle to stitch it together and I've got these little beads to put in the centres of the flowers. Now the bike has a lot of small pieces so there's not a lot of crocheting but a lot of weaving in ends and sewing it together. Now I'm going to start on the centre of the wheel, that little grey part right in the centre. So I make a magic loop and work one chain and then I work eight single crochet into my circle. A single crochet is called a double crochet in the UK. For a single crochet I put my hook into the circle and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook and yarn through both the loops. So I need seven more. Then I pull the circle tight and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. And fasten off. So we've got a small circle. I need another one the same for the centre wheel of the front. So I make a magic loop work one chain and work eight single crochet into my circle I pull the circle tight and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. While I've got my grey I'll make this chain circle. For that I make a magic loop and work one chain and work eight half double crochet into my circle. A half double crochet is called a half treble in the UK. For a half double crochet I put my yarn around the hook, hook into the circle and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take my hook and yarn through the three loops on my hook. I need seven more.
Then I pull the circle tight and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And that's a slightly bigger, the bigger circle than our wheel centres. While I've got the grey, I'll also do the pedal cranks. So I start with five chain. I miss the first chain and work a slip stitch into each remaining chain. For a slip stitch, I put my hook into the stitch and bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on my hook just like that and fasten off for one of our pedal cranks. I leave a longer tail. For the front one I put the tail through the centre of the chain circle to stitch it on. So I've left a longer tail for that one and I won't weave in that end when I'm weaving in the ends. I'll just weave in this end. Now I need another pedal crank so I start with five chain I miss the first chain and work a slip stitch into each remaining chain. And fasten off. Now I'll just weave in the ends of the centre circle so that we can work the row of spokes. Now both our wheels will work the same so I'll only show you how to do one. We join our wool in any stitch on the wheel centre and work 10 chain, 5 chain for our first triple treble and 5 chain for the first loop. Now we're going to work a triple treble into our next stitch. A triple treble is called a quadruple treble in the UK. For a triple treble we put our yarn around the hook four times, hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop and then yarn around the hook and take our hook and yarn through two loops. We do that five times. And then we work five chain. and then work another triple treble. So yarn round the hook four times. And then five more chain and another triple treble. and we'll have eight spokes, the first one being with chain.
and then we work five chain and then slip stitch into the fifth chain from the bottom and fasten off. Now I'll just weave in my ends to make it easier for you to see what I'm doing when I'm doing the tyre section. Now for the tyres, we join our wool in the top of any triple treble and work one chain and work a single crochet in the same stitch as the chain and then we're going to work a single crochet into each stitch around, into each of our chain and each of our triple treble. I'm going to be crocheting in the tail so I hold it against my work and crochet over the top of it. If you'd prefer you could just crochet five single crochet into your loop but I like to see the little bit of red at the bottom of the tire so I'm going to work a single crochet into the stitch. And then just continue around, working a single crochet in each stitch. So I'll continue around the row and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of the row you slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. And fasten off. And that's the wheel done. While I've got the black, I'll work the two pedals. So we start with three chain. We miss the first chain and work one single crochet into the next stitch. And two single crochet into the following stitch. and fasten off. And we'll work another pedal the same. So three chain, miss the first chain and work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook and then two single crochet into the last chain. and fasten off. And I'll also work the seat. For the seat we start with seven chain
we work two double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. A double crochet is called a treble in the UK. For a double crochet we put our yarn around the hook, put our hook into the stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook and take our hook and yarn through two loops. Yarn around the hook and take our hook and yarn through the remaining two loops. And we need another one in the same place as our last double crochet. Now we work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. and two half double crochet into the last stitch. And fasten off. And that's the seat done. Now I'll start on this chain guard, the white piece there. I start with 10 chain. I miss the first chain and I work one single crochet into each of the next three chain one half double crochet into each of the following three chain and one double crochet into each of the remaining three chain. and fasten off. Now I'll just weave in the ends of my chain guard and my chain circle and then I'll stitch the chain circle just to the end of the chain guard, just in like that. And I'll come back and we'll put the row around for the chain. So I'll do that and I'll be back. Now my chain circle's joined to my chain guard. Now I'm going to work the chain around it. So I join in any stitch. I'll join at the bottom so I can show you quickly how to do the chain for around the centre of the wheel there. We just join in any stitch and then we work a slip stitch into each stitch to the corner. This is the narrow end.
and then you work 12 chain and then work a slip stitch into each stitch back around to the beginning of the row. So join in here the first stitch and then work a slip stitch just into the back loop of the top part there is best. And then a slip stitch into the back loop of each stitch around the edge of the circle until you get back to the white. And then a slip stitch into each stitch back to the beginning. Now I didn't work a slip stitch into the first stitch. I'm going to join with a needle just so it doesn't leave a bump. So I fasten off and when I'm weaving in my end I'll just thread it through the middle of that stitch just so it's nice and even. So that's that part done there. Now I'll start on the frame the seat frame there. So using my main colour I work 11 chain I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end Then I work 11 chain I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end
and fasten off. And that's the seat post frame. I'll have to weave in the ends and then put the little grey part on. So I'll do that and I'll be back. For the seat post, this little grey piece here, you join at the top of the seat post frame, just in the first stitch there. And work two chain and one half double crochet into each stitch along the top. You'll probably get to work three or four. And fasten off. And then we'll just attach the seat to the top when we're making it up. Now for the fenders, we make two. One for the back and one for the front. We start with 24 chain. Now we work one double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. That's just for that little bit at the end. And then we work one single crochet into each of the next four stitches. And then two single crochet into the following stitch. And then we repeat that across to the last stitch. So one single crochet into each of the next four stitches and two single crochet into the following stitch until we have one stitch left. And we work two double crochet into the last stitch.
and fasten off. And the fender will just curl around the wheel like that. So for the second one, we work 24 chain. We work one double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. And then we work one single crochet into each of the next four stitches and then two single crochet into the following stitch. And we repeat that to the last stitch. So one single crochet into each of the next four stitches and two single crochet into the following stitch and repeat that until we've got one stitch left. and then work two double crochet in the last stitch and fasten off Now for the joiner frame, which is this piece here that joins the front part of the bike to the back, we start with 15 chain. We miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the next six stitches. Then two single crochet into each of the following two stitches. That's for that little bend there. So two single crochet into each of the next two stitches. And 
and then work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. and fasten off. And that's a joiner frame. For the handlebar frame, this one here, we start with 23 chain. We miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. We work two single crochet into each of the following two stitches. and then one single crochet into each stitch until the last stitch. And then we slip stitch into the last stitch. That just makes it a bit narrower to join into the centre of the circle. And then leave a bit of a tail and fasten off. When you're weaving in your ends, don't weave in this long tail because we'll thread it through the centre of the wheel. Now for the handlebar there, we start with six chain we miss the first two chain and work one half double crochet into each remaining chain
and personal. For the basket, we start with eight chain. We miss the first two chain and work one half double crochet into each stitch to the end. For row two, we start with two chain and turn. We work two half double crochet into the first stitch. One half double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two half double crochet into the last stitch. And for our neatening row, we start with one chain and work one single crochet into each stitch down the sides and the bottom and top. And we work two single crochet into each corner stitch. So I'll continue around the neatening row and I'll meet you at the end of the row. At the end of the row we slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the basket done. Now for the flowers I made six, two each of yellow, red and white. Now we start with a magic loop and work one chain and we're going to have five petals each of a slip stitch and a half double crochet so we'll repeat that four more times one slip stitch and one half double crochet Then we pull the circle tight and join with the slip stitch in the bottom of the first stitch.
and pass them off. And you just make as many flowers as you'd want in your basket. For the leaves, I start with a magic loop and work three chain and work a join double crochet into the circle. A join double crochet would be called a join treble in the UK. For a join double crochet, you put your yarn around the hook hook into the circle and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take your hook and yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook into the circle and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, hook and yarn through two loops and yarn around the hook and take your hook and yarn through the remaining three loops and then pull your circle tight and fasten off. And I used five leaves on this one, but you could have as many as you'd like. Now, if you wanted to have the little cat in your basket, for the head, you'd start with a magic loop and work two chain and 15 double crochet into your circle. You pull the circle tight and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. For the first ear we work one chain and work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. And for row two of the ear you work one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over both the stitches. So you put your hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the second stitch and bring up a loop and yarn around your hook and take your hook and yarn through all the loops and fasten off. And that's the first ear done. Now we'll miss the next two stitches and join in the following stitch for our second ear and work one chain and work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches and for row two we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over both the stitches and fasten off. And I'll need to pull the circle tighter when I'm weaving in my ends. But that's a little head. Now for the paws, you start with a magic loop and work three chain and work a join double crochet into the circle, the same as the leaves.
pull the circle tight and fasten off. Now that's all the crocheting done. I'll just have to finish my other wheel and make some more flowers, leaves and another cat paw and I'll weave in my ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now here's all the pieces. The first things I'll do is attach the chain section to the back wheel. So I stitch it round the chain, stitch in around there and I'll also secure it on the back round the tire. I'll also attach the seat to the seat section. So that bit there, it goes that way. The double crochets go at the back. So in like that. And this handle frame part, I'll attach the handlebars onto there, like that, just at the end before the bend. So I'll attach those and I'll attach the pedals. Now the one with the tail, the pedal bends down like that and the other one, the pedal sits up like a cup. So they go in opposite directions. The flat part has to go on the top on each section. So it's at the end of the one with the tail and at the top of the one to go to go up. So I'll attach all those and I'll be back. The next thing I'll do is attach this front pedal in through the chain circle and I'll secure it at the back and I'll attach the seat frame to the back wheel. The back part goes just in there on top of the wheel centre and the front part goes in under the chain circle. So just in there like that and I'll attach the handlebar post to the front wheel. It goes in through the centre circle and is secured on the back and I'll also attach it to the wheel where it, where it joins there. And I'll put the face markings onto the cat and I'll attach the flowers and the leaves to the basket. Now next I'll attach these fenders to just above the wheels. So the front fender attaches to the handlebar frame and you need enough space to put the basket on at the front. So about there and just a tiny bit above the wheel and then if you like you could attach it to the wheel, just that back little part. And the back fender goes in behind the chain piece and attached to the seat post and then round there. So I'll attach those two and I'll be back and then we'll put the two parts together. Next we're going to join our two parts of the bike with this joiner frame here. The pointy part bends down and we attach the top part to the handlebar frame just under halfway up and the bottom end goes under this chain circle just in there and I attach the pointy part of the joiner frame just with a couple of stitches in the middle. I'll also put the cat paws onto the basket just like that but just make sure your cat will sit properly over it once the cat is stitched on. So I'll do that and I'll be back. 
The last things I'll do is attach the back pedal just in behind the frames there and I'll attach the basket to the front fender in there and I'll attach the cat on top of the paws and then I'll be back to show you the finished bike. And there's the finished bike and also the cat in the basket. If you like my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website, where I have my patterns, and the details of my Facebook group. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.